Today's Stockport County taking Swindon Sound away at the county ground. Now Swindon Sound are not in good form at all, only winning one out of their last nine competitive matches. And also in their last two they have conceded 10 goals, you know. They've just been letting them in left, right and centre, including a 7-4 loss to Aldershot in the uh, first round of the FA Cup, who we also have got in the second round. Um, but yeah, anyway, Aldershot were um, 7 0 up at one point, even scoring an eighth, which was chalked off, I believe. And then the um, following um, um, game, they played Colchester in the league, lost 3 1 away. Uh, they, they really are in poor form. They're 19th in the form table, despite being 10th in the league. Uh, whilst on the other hand, it's a completely different story for County. We've won 10 league games on the bounce and our last 12 competitive games on the bounce. Um, you know, um, very near in the um, EFL record set by Black uh, Blackpool, uh, winning twelve games. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can move one step closer to that. Um, but anyway, just looking on form it, and uh, the league table, looks like we are massive favourites. Uh, we've been scoring loads, Swindon have been letting in loads. However, I think it could be closer than a lot of people expect. And my prediction for this game is going to be Swindon one, um, County three. Uh, with goals from uh, Kyle Wotton, Tanto Olawafe and uh, Will Collar. Um, but that's all from me and I should see you very shortly at the county ground. Come on county. Right, we're in Worcestershire Services joined by um, Luca and Harry. Have you got a score prediction for us? Yeah, 3-1 to county, two goals in the first half. I'm going to go for a bold prediction to be honest and say 4-3 to county. <laughs>
I'll wear out my neck at chest to build and grow. My father was a county fan, like my grandfather being born. I said to my father, I love to wear the scarf and father won't have to say. Okay.
full time and County come from behind to beat Swindon Town 4-2 at the county ground and you know that was a really good win for us um, and a really big statement to the other clubs uh, in the league. Um, you know, we're really uh, pushing for the title. Um, you know, I can't see us not getting automatic promotion now, which we've seen how we're playing. Obviously, you know, things can change, but we are just, you know, playing some amazing football at the minute. Although we didn't have the greatest of first starts, but, um, you know, uh, we weren't playing uh, the greatest, although a lot of decisions um, went against us. The officiating uh, wasn't the greatest. Uh, now, an example of this would be, uh, you know, when Cal Wharton was running down the wing and he was just absolutely taken out by a Swindon player and somehow it went Swindon's way and um, Cal Wharton was booked and I, you know, I have no idea uh, what went on there. Um, but anyway, um, Will Collar opened the scoring with a penalty and then uh, Cal Wharton getting on the score sheet again for his fifth goal in his last two games with a nice little header to level the score at 2-all. And then Odin Bailey scoring his first ever league goal for County um, with his weak foot, a uh, really nice goal from the edge of the box and then Callum Camp's finishing it all off to make it 4-2. So yeah, a really good win for us and it's on to where uh, Colchester at home next Saturday. Hopefully we can uh, carry on the run. We're on um, 13 wins in a row now. Um, if we uh, win at Colchester, that'll be 12 league wins, uh, which set which equals Blackpool's record uh, in the EFL. But anyway, that's all from me. and I should see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.